All right, in today's VOD session, we're going to be talking about sub base. This is the LAG versus LAT map one. A pretty big upset for LAG. You know, a lot of people weren't expecting them to beat LAT, never mind 3 0ing them. This is the first map, the first respawn that they played. And, you know, I wanted to talk about sub base just because it's going to be changing in the next patch that you guys see for the CDL. So I figured I'd talk to you guys about sub base and how it was playing and, and how these hills played in these final hills in this game. So let's get right into it. All right, so I'm at my home setup, so I don't have my usual drawing tool, but we'll power through it. So this this is the last p4 of the game as you can see here lag is soaking this scrap time they're up about 45 points going into this p5 and you'll see this is probably one of the bigger rotations for this map specifically p4 to p5 just because p5 is probably the only hill that could be considered you know a quote-unquote money hill every other hill on this map is basically super contest heavy where there's a lot of white time and a lot of teams just holding each other's crosses making sure that other people don't try and get towards time so a lot of white time on this map that's why you see a lot of those games go towards that time limit and as you can see here lag is already starting this rotation towards this p5 you saw them have this scrap time towards p4 they're still spawning out as long as you're spawning out towards this p1 area p2 area and you know the other team is spawning back depths over here you can have a good rotation towards this p5 all you really need to do is shift to the right make sure you're getting there early and having that initial positioning towards the p5 but what you have to take into account is any routes that you guys might take off spawn through the outer area over here trying to get a good rotation towards this p5 and start blocking the areas towards p2 over here so as you can see here number seven takes a route they kill number two towards hill that means these guys are stuck in the middle of the map while everyone is trying to pinch on through the other sides through control over here and through p3 over here so you know they're trying to take this map pressure lat is dan gets a really nice two piece on number one here and number four who was top snow so them getting two piece right here makes estro's life so big over here he's last one alive for lag on this rotation you know even though they were having that good rotation before because these guys took these routes top comms over here and through p3 they were able to get some good positioning and start getting some kills on these rotators before they can get initial positioning so as you saw number two died front control over here you know for my money i'd rather the person just play on time here you know he's probably trying to get a kill here but they just teamwork him out of this position the rest of his team is not in a position to get time in this place because you know, number one spawned in the middle over here just because it's white time and number seven starting to block this back area number three is alone towards this p2 area Area. and you know connor here is top snow so dan makes a really good play going up top comms here trying to catch these rotators he gets this positioning because you know top snow is really important for this p5 specifically because if you can get top snow you can cut off a lot of different angles towards the hill and you can really pressure people while you're top snow if you already have hill control and you already have someone towards this p2 area so as you can see here lat breaks on in this makes estro's lives so important because they know that there's only one guy left alive for this lag team and he needs to just play his life try and get a kill or something but really just finesse his life try and stay alive as long as possible just because he wants to buy time for any of his spawners who's going to be spawning you know back control over here to have enough time to break onto the hill while he's still distracting everyone else on lat so he gets that kill on dan that trade kill towards that top snow as you can see the rest of his team is spawning towards this back area over here and all he needs to do is just stay alive as you see here he's weak he's just trying to play ones over here just trying to see if he can get any sort of kill on anyone who might be playing towards towards this p2 area if they try and overextend for him and really play for him but they know that he is the last guy alive but what they have to do is you know they have to take their attention away from the front over here so what happens here is he you know escapes towards this top catwalk area that gives a little bit of time for the rest of his team to start working a break towards this front side as you can see here number two fame get someone who is top control over here they can now try and pressure onto the into the hill and as you can see here because estrel got lost top third over here that makes cami have to really play for him and and because he doesn't want to get shot in the back while he's trying to hold towards this p2 area he wants to make sure that this guy is accounted for because they know he's the last guy alive towards this catwalk area but unfortunately though estro is making a good play by really being a hard kill and being a nuisance here not letting them find him and if they do find him trying to be a hard kill and as you can see here he gets in a gunfight with cami but the damage is done even though cami gets this gunfight he allowed his team to have free reign onto the hill because now cami can't watch the front control you know this area for afro and afro's pushed through onto hill because he's so worried about estriel in the back here so estriel does a really good job even though he dies there he did his job of playing bait for the rest of his team as you can see diamond Con slides into the contest area starts getting time so you know even though estriel did die there he did have enough presence on the map to start making let worry about them they have to focus him before they can focus focus the front of the hill and now you know what should have been a really good hold for let if we're going back to this position back, back here you know this should have 100 been a hold for let they had a 
really good rotation to it. It was just Estro who was able to get one kill, stay alive towards this catwalk area here. And he was just the distraction for the rest of his team. So that allows LAG to break on into this hill. Look at the time left, 37 seconds. They're up 45 points. And as long as they can just keep soaking a little bit of time, all you need to do is make sure that you're just extending your lead one by one. Like I said, a lot of times on this map, it goes towards this time limit. So they only have one minute and six seconds left of the time bake left. So as long as they can just literally just stay ahead in this game, they'll be completely fine towards the rest of these next two hills. So we'll move on to here. This is still a decent positioning for LAT. As long as you're maintaining control of this middle map area, trying to break on into the hill, you can really easily pick apart anyone that's in the hill already, you know, trying to nade, tack anyone. So they first get this really big kill on Assault Top Snow here. This is really big, but unfortunately though, they're not expecting Fame to be, you know, in control here on this heady right now. So Fame has his crossover here. He kills Cami for free. And now they're just going to try and teamwork towards Diamond Khan, who was the last guy in the hill. They're soaking time now. So this is a really good situation for LAT because they break back on in. They have those more favorable spawns towards those P2. They can try and get this last, you know, 30 seconds, try and chain towards the P1 and they're back in this game. You know, that's technically still in their grasp. So they want to make sure that they hold these next two hills like this. Unfortunately, though, what happens here is they start challenging out into this control area, get two piece by fame and they break on in once again. So back and forth of these breaks on this P5, honestly, you know, they don't even technically need to look into control here. You know, if you're LAT, I think you have a better chance of just letting them try to exit out of control, overextend, try and kill you because, you know, you can just play in this corner over here and the deep contest corner while you just try to hold those angles and then have one guy off spawn, you know, go top P2 or something, look towards the middle of the map. You know, you have to hold the rest of this hill to keep yourself in this game. And by challenging out of here, trying to get a little bit too greedy for these kills, you know, they don't have a chance anymore because Fame is, is holding this and they know that he's holding this when Cami died, but they still try to put some pressure on it anyways. And, and you know, they, they get caught for it. So Fame gets a two piece here. LAG breaks on in. They know that's four down. Last guy live spawning back P2 here. They can start soaking the rest of this time. And you have number four already starting to rotate towards this P1 area because they are soaking this time. It's just, you know, once again, building their lead one by one. Any second here matters because this is probably going to go to time. And if you can get any sort of chain time here, it's really good. And as you can see here, LAT wants to break back on in to have a good setup for the P1. Unfortunately, though, this is just an impenetrable setup. They have one guy playing time on this tank over here. They have one guy that can watch in their entire middle from this P1 area. You see Diamond Con is watching towards this mid alley to see if anyone who spawned up uh, was trying to take a route that way. And then you have two guys playing inside control here, just watching over the guy towards the silos area and they're able to cover fame while he's in hill you know last guy alive is silos they're actually spawning out here because of this influence by number four and no one blocking this back control area so once again let still soaking on time 207 to 137 they're up 70 points going into this p1 and they have the good side going into p2 so what you need to do now is basically just make sure that let does not get on time you know number one goal here is just to keep them off time if you can soak points that's always an added benefit but if you can just let them not soak time this is huge and because they were able to get that extra break on in and have let spawning you know back p4 over here definitely the spawn you don't want going into the p1 uh this is a really important play by fame so what he's gonna do he's gonna go top snow try and look for this guy on time cami's alone on time for let T right now and LEG is breaking on in through this middle of the map. This middle of the map is so big. If you can get angles towards this top catwalk area or towards top snow, they cannot get on this P1. And Faint does a really good route here. Goes top snow. Dan Ghosty is not even expecting it just because it's a really good play out of the end of this P5. If they want to hold, you know, top third over here and top comms, there is basically no possible way for LAT to soak time with this map control. So as you can see here, they get three down. They have all of their bases covered. As long as they can hold these two high grounds on either side of the hill it's just going to be chalk for let they cannot soak time and you know the clock is winding down 48 total seconds in the time bank they're still up you know 60 points and you know all they have to do is play for white time here they're even soaking with number four getting on hill because they have estrel number three reinforce this top cat area and can watch over him so they're still watching over him from both sides fame is still top comms over here he can get any trades you know on afro there and on ghosty he actually doesn't get the kill on ghosty they break back on in but once again they're still playing trades assault here he's able to get the kill because he was the last guy alive for them mid alley here so you know they have pressure on both sides of the map because uh last guy alive was over here but because they spawned towards this p4 area they're still you know crunching let on time from both sides so it makes it such a really hard hill for them to hold they now start soaking time because of
of this map pressure and because of let spawning towards you know this p2 area they can try and soak a little bit of time before this p2 and as you can see the lead is just continuing to grow on and on and this is really good for leg as long as they can just keep these guys off time like you're seeing here you know diamond con's just playing around the hill making sure that he can get any sort of kill for anyone trying to jump onto time because if you're let here you're in a situation where you know you know you're down 60 70 points you have to get on the hill you're basically going to have no chance going into the p2 because not only do you have to hold that p2 you have to make sure they're not contesting it and then you go into a p3 which is even harder to hold time on because of a lot of white time contestion so going into this p2 let is trying to push out towards this control area over here because in their mind if they can keep these control spawns and back silo spawns they can make sure that leg is constantly spawning out and they're gonna have their best chance to hold this p2 fortunately though they just die on this rotation and you know this was just their last ditch effort to try and get a good hold into that p2 because they basically needed it in order to have a chance in this game uh, and they don't so these leg breaks have been really really important on this map going into that p5 like i was talking about you know going into that p1 as well trying to take that map pressure on the two high grounds and then going into this p2 they stuff let's attempt to try and get these control spawns and silo spawns and these close spawns to make sure that leg spawns out unfortunately though you know let even though they're in control they're not blocking the silo spawn number three spawns close even though number four spawns deeper here assault is in prime position to get some cut kills top snow here so you know if you have a guy top snow and you have someone breaking in through the silos here it's just a really hard uh, hold for let as you can see leg breaks on in once again and you know ghost team makes a really good play taking this route to try and kill this guy top snow he does that he gets a two-piece on the guy's side door unfortunately though this is all white time this is what leg wants even though they're spawning in the back so leg right now just trying to play some time you know they're still up 70 points and with this hill it's just so easy uh, for them to have some type of break on in all they have to take is like one outside route like you saw here from fame over here if you take this silos route it's really hard for let to pick it up and if they don't pick it up it's a free break on in or at least a distraction for the rest of your team to break on in as you can see here they're starting to break on in some trades go down leg is starting to get them off of time and this is where sub base just gets mixy you know teams are just trading on back and forth some people spawn close here some people spawn far out and you get this really weird um contest heavy hill because of these spawns just because of the way the map is played and what leg is trying to do here they're literally just trying to flood towards time make sure that they can try and break on in they can just try and play for this p3 now make sure that they're just still holding let off of time because they're going to have to hit through this p2 over here to try and get towards p3 leg is just trying to contest it you know even though they die they are in prime position to keep this white time because they have these crosses toward the hill they can just team shot with each other you know diamond con's getting them damage over here estral is top third with the sub actually unfortunately the broadcast actually thinks it ends over here so they cut it off right before the streak actually blows them up so uh, LEG uses that streak final p3 they knew basically there was no chance for let to come back in that especially with that streak in their back pocket but that's kind of a breakdown of what sub base is like on those final few hills it's just really playing with that lead you know if you can get a little bit of a lead and you see the time clock is winding down you can just play the time clock you can make sure that you're just contesting make sure the hill is staying white if you can't soak it so you know not giving up positioning if it is good positioning to get some kills uh, just make sure that they can't get on time and start soaking themselves but really good breaks on in for leg and they're able to upset let 3-0 in their series this was the first map of it kind of set the tone for the series but a really good job by leg in this one so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this vod session and i'll see you guys in the next one